Hey guys, what's going on? Vega here from Serpent X Special Forces, and in this video, I want to go over how to utilize the Mad Max plotter for Windows with the new NFT or singletons because there is information that you're going to need to grab. And currently, right now, at least the time of filming, uh, the only wallet version is from June 6th, but again, in the future, the version that we're looking for, 1.2 or higher, may already be out. So just go to chia.net and get the latest wallet. However, we've been testing various builds and working with various pool devs um, and the Chia devs to try to get everything kind of ironed out for the mainnet or for the release of the new wallet. So I'm using pool.space and that's what I'm primarily referring to in this video. Uh, I already did a, vi a previous video of how to connect and all that stuff, so make sure you check that out. I'll have it linked in the description. Additionally, the commands that I'm going to be going over are also going to be in the description if you want to follow along. But of course, there's other pools out there. I've been testing Core Pool. Uh, P, P's Pool is basically the same thing. There's a token, you assign it. Uh, I did a video on that as well. But this is different, right? So this one in the new wallet, you got a pool tab and you need to add a plot NFT. You need to put in the pool URL. Um, you're gonna need to have some mojo or, or a, a percentage, a very small percentage uh, of Chia in order to connect to that wallet. Uh, but again, the whole guide and everything's out there. Once you have this created, how do we get the information we need from this NFT or Singleton in order to update Mad Max? Well, we got to get the latest version and the dev or creator did add a new parameter or variable or argument, whatever you want to say, to the Mad Max plotter. So we just download this, right? We're going to get a zip file and everything. We download this and extract it. We get our main files, but then we need to edit those files. What I want to show you is how to get the information you need. So first things first, on your computer, you need to go to your C drive, users. Now, if you do not see your users for some reason or app data, it is a hidden folder. To show hidden folders, you need to go to view and you need to make sure that hidden items is checked. That will show the folder that we're looking for. So app data, I believe it's uh, under local and then Chia blockchain, the app version. See, this version will change, right? This is the build that I'm on right now, but this version will change, so obviously go to whichever one you have. And then under here, resources, this guy right here, that's the only folder that's in or under resources, Damon. And then we're gonna scroll down and look for Chia.exe. Now, what I like to do is just copy the URL that's in your file explorer and control C or copy paste. And now we need to open up a PowerShell command window. With this window open, if you paste what I just copied and then add at the end slash chia.exe, there's only two other words that we need to add at the end of this. Before, um, I believe it was keys show, now it's plot NFT show. So space plot NFT, all one word, space, show, and then hit enter. Now, I'm going to have to blur this out, but bear with me here. When we hit enter, it's going to ask us to choose the wallet. You need to know which wallet is your main wallet or the wallet that you created the NFT under, okay? Um, you hit the number that corresponds with that wallet or Q for quit if you need to. And when you hit enter after selecting your number, again, information is going to be blurred out here but we're not wanting our launcher ID. If we look at the wallet here, there's a launcher ID and when you mouse over it, you can copy it. That's really to look at your worker. Kind of like looking up, uh, if you were mining Ethereum, it would look up your worker name or your wallet address to see how that worker's doing, you're submitting shares, stuff like that, which I always recommend doing anyways. You always wanna make sure that your miner is working and talking to the pool, submitting shares and so on. The launcher ID is not what you want, okay? So I'm gonna pull up actually, let's go over to Mad Max real quick. And this is the stock file that you're gonna get. And of course, you know, this is the number of threads, or excuse me, this is the number of plots that you're going to create. These are the number of threads. So it's based on your CPU. For example, my 5900X, I would do 12 instead of 16. If I had a 9600K, I would do six. Uh, it, it's the number of physical cores of your CPU is what I would recommend. I leave dash u alone. That's the uh, the bit. I think it's the bit, not bit field. I forgot what it's called. Hang on one second. Let me look that up. Add new plot. Show advance. 
It's the number of buckets. I'm sorry, I misspoke there. So it's the number of buckets, but I would just leave it at 256. And then dash T is your temporary directory, which would be your, your SAS drives or whatever drives you're building the plots on, NVMe or otherwise. And then dash D is your final directory. And I go over this all in a previous video, check that out. Um, but you just put your temp, your final, and the most important thing is the pool key and the farmer key. We're going to be replacing the pool key with dash C. And then the farmer key, we still need that information. You can carry that over from your previous uh, setup of Mad Max, but in this case, uh, we just need the farmer key, which everything is, is pretty much right where we need it to be. Obviously, if you don't have the farmer key already, uh, we can I can show you how to do that. That would be the key show function and we have to get the pharma key for that. For this one, for dash C, which is what we need, again, we're replacing dash P, the pool key, with the P2 singleton address, pool contract address for plotting. You need to copy all of this and put that behind dash C. For the farmer key, if I hit up, it would copy my previous command and I remove plot NFT show and add keys show and then there's your farmer public key. Now again, your top wallet would be your first your first wallet or whatever's in the top is your first wallet, whatever's in the bottom is your second wallet and you need to grab that farm public key and put it after dash F. Once you've done that, you will not be you will now be able to create plots using Mad Max a lot faster for the new NFT or singleton that you've created assigned to you. And that will get you started, that will get you plots done quicker as well as get you on whatever pool that you're working on, stuff like that. Now, there is, and I just wanna restate this from my previous video, there is a 25% chance uh, that when Mainlet pops off, we may have to replot again, but from what the devs are seeing, that, that percentage may be going, be going down or less likely. So just bear that in mind, but that's how you get the C or the contract address for your NFT so that way you can still use Mad Max to create the plots under your new NFT that you created. As you can see in my wallet, if I switch back here, I only had 12 plots while I have a whole bunch more plots. Uh, for example, I have 457 total, but the pool under this NFT only sees 12. That's because I had to recreate those plots under that contract address. So though you won't be able to just carry it over to the original plots, you will have to replot. And I would strongly recommend not using consumer grade NVMe SSDs for a large amount of storage. If you just have, you know, four terabytes, eight terabytes, and, and that's it, you'll be fine. But if you're trying to stack hundreds and hundreds of terabytes and you're using a consumer grade NVMe SSD, I wouldn't recommend that. I have a enterprise grade NVMe SSD rated at 4.2 petabytes endurance or total rights written. But that's going to do it for me today. Thank you so much for watching. Please do me a favor on the way out, hit the like button, subscribe for additional content like this. Don't forget to hit the notification bell as well as check out any of the links in the description that help out the channel. Uh, like to dogelord.com, you can get sweet merch such as this shirt and you guys have yourself a wonderful day. Take care. We'll catch you next one.